Hey guys, today we're going to go over adding RSS feeds to our Facebook pages. Now whenever you're looking for your RSS feed, we're going to go up into our Facebook search box and type in RSS. Now you notice there's quite a few of them that populate. The one that we want is the RSS application with 4,000 monthly users. When we click on it, it's going to give us the option to choose the page that we would like it on. So you're going to choose your relevant page. And then you're going to go to Add RSS. Then we see that it populates right here along our different menu options. Now to set everything up, we're going to click on it. And then our control panel box is going to come up. This is always going to be present on the administrator screen, and this is where you would make any changes at any time. So, just to show you the screen that you're going to get, since I already have an account set up. This application was made by uh, HSA uh, Applications. Now it's going to give you the option to either put in your email address. Now you guys are going to go to don't have an account yet and you're going to go to register down here. It's a free process. I would use a dummy email address so you're not getting junk email. And then it's going to bring you back to the login screen which is right here. You're going to go to login. And then here is where we're going to put in our URL. So the Miranda Homes blog. I'm going to type that URL right in there, hit save, and it'll tell us when it's updated. Here we go. And we're going to go over to our page. And I always reload the page to ensure the changes are made. And then when we click on our RSS feed again, it's going to populate all of the blog posts that you would see on the Miranda Homes website. Now the reason that I chose this app as opposed to the other RSS ones is because this one gives us the option to tweet and also like on Facebook. Now keep in mind that whenever we have this page set up, we still also want to post to the Facebook wall of each community page whenever we make a blog post. The reason why is because that's going to show up on people's mini feed and that's going to give us more of a reach. This only gives people an option to navigate on our page. It doesn't outwardly go after our users. So in order to do that, we want to post it to our Facebook wall as well. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.